Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. How has everybody been? Um, how's it going? How are you guys doing at home? I am in my comfy clothes. It's been an extremely busy week just between work. I'm extremely grateful to have a job, first of all. And then with church stuff, we've really just, as we've moved online, it's just kept me extremely busy. So I actually, um, so I actually ended up getting myself a new computer that can handle a lot of the editing that I'm doing. So I actually got a MacBook, or not a MacBook, but an iMac. So I'm really excited about that. And you also can see that I actually moved the office into the front room, which is extremely exciting because A, the lighting is to die for, and B, it's just nice whenever you work at home all the time to be able to look out the window and not just see, like look at the walls all day long. So I'll actually pop in um, a before and after. This was the guest room, and this was kind of a hard decision because this is honestly the best place for the guest room because the office was then in between the guest room and our bedroom, so it gave everybody a little bit of privacy. But now that the office is the front room and the guest room is the middle room, I just like it better selfishly because I spend so much time in the office. So that's what we did this week. It was kind of um, busy. Um, I also got really into Animal Crossing, so there's that. <laughs> I'm really excited about that because it's just... I did like I played it for like a hot minute and then I realized that like it's a good thing to play when you're trying to wind down and so it actually was extremely helpful yesterday it was just so busy for me that I just played until like 1 a.m. with my friend online we just face each other or we FaceTime each other so it's kind of fun because like she'll come to my island and give me whatever so I'm like gonna play a little bit later on when I get done with all my activities and work for the day um, because it is Saturday, tomorrow is Easter. And so also if you celebrate, I hope you guys have a great Easter. Um, we are celebrating and we do celebrate Easter. Um, so I would actually love to invite you to our online services and um, I'll put it in below. We actually have a small church and so you can kind of see all the stuff that we've been doing as well. So that's exciting. So the real reason I popped on here today is I did get a Peach and Lily order. And it's just been sitting all week long because I got it a couple days ago. I've just been so busy. I haven't been able to unbox it. So I wanted to unbox it with you guys because I got a few new things. So without further ado, I'll also link my skincare routine video. I haven't made much of a change since then. Maybe I'll change out products every once in a while. I got some of the Be The Skin Botanical Pore Toner. This is, I think, my third thing of this. I've gone through this so much, and it's good for like acne prone skin, and I really like this as my toner. I know that there's been like debate between if people use the little cloth pads for toner or just use their fingers. My girlfriend that got me into this, she actually just uses her hands. I personally use the pads because I had them available to me, but I have used it without. It's just now that it's part of my routine, it's just there. <laughs> Next, I got the, oh, did they change the packaging on this? I got the Aromatica, whatever, tree, <laughs> tea tree balancing foaming cleanser and i have this but it looks like they changed the packaging so i'm just about like i think i'll be able to get through today and tomorrow of my current one and then i'm glad this came when it did because i needed it so this is also good for acne prone skin you can also pick like what you're buying on like your skin so like if your combination oily dry um, acne prone. Um, I really like the Peach and Lily website and this is not sponsored by any point, by any, like I buy all this myself. I just really like it and believe in it. So there it is. Next. Oh, I forgot I got this. You guys, I totally forgot I got half this stuff. So I'm so excited to be unboxing this with you. This is the, the, what brand is this? Echo Your Skin, it's one of those shot things, and it like comes in one of the syringes. 
And it's just like a straight up like shot of something. And I this is the vitamin A. And it says on the packaging, skin vitamin and skin supplement shot serums effectively help your skin to get healthy just like taking vitamins for your health. So I've never tried one of these before, but they're just so cool looking. I mean, like, how neat is that? So, and I've seen some people will use like a lot of it at once, or they'll use like a little bit of it daily. So I'm not 100% sure how I'm gonna use it yet. Honestly, it's kind of expensive to just take like the whole shot at once. Um, it would have to be a very once in a while thing for me because I wanna say the whole thing was maybe $30. I could be totally wrong. Again, I'll link everything below so you can see like if you wanna invest in it or not. So that's what I got there. Next, I got more acne spot dots because I was running out of this. I swear by these, as do my girlfriends. So if you are acne prone, I highly recommend this brand. I've tried an off brand on Amazon as well. Just doesn't do the same thing. I don't know. I just personally like this one. This is the Peach Slices, but by Peach and Lily. And then I also got the Reset Button Soothe and Restore Sheet Mask. This one has been extremely nice. I've only used this one once before, but I was so impressed with it that I kind of kept it on my radar to get another one when I needed it. And then of course I got a few samples. Dude, I have so many samples. You actually can see like, Clearly I haven't decorated the house yet. Like I still have to decorate in the office and in the spare bedroom we've lived here, um, I think like eight months now. So I just haven't gotten all decor yet or know what I wanna do. So that's why it's kind of bare. But you can see my skincare fridge right there. It's that pink thing. And I could actually give you a quick tour of it in a minute too. It's kind of messy. Um, but I really like it. I keep my eye creams in there and I actually keep most of my samples in there too. So I got a glass skin refining serum. I do like this. This is nice to travel with. And then I think this one's new. I haven't gotten this sample yet. This is the matcha pudding antioxidant cream. So if you like this, let me know below. That was so weird. I was just recording and I'm actually recording on my phone today and it just stopped recording and went to the home screen and I'm like clearly not touching it or I can't even like reach it. So that was bizarre, but okay. Anyways, last but not least, the last thing I got is the Bee Venom Calming Fresh Cream. And this has also been on my radar for a while, but honestly, I have had so much moisturizer that it's not necessarily been the first thing. Like, I was like committed to, basically I wanted to commit to use up my moisturizers before I bought more. But this, again, has been on my radar for a while. This is cute. The packaging is like honeycomb or whatever. You can kind of see it. It's the Minzon, which that's also the under eye cream I use. I know everything from there has been nice. Oh, this is smaller than I thought it would be, but it is what it is. So here is that. But it is. It's cute packaging. Let's see what it smells like. If it smells like anything. Oh, it smells good. I don't know how, um, it almost smells flowery to me. It almost smells flowery, but it's definitely like a thicker consistency than I expected it to be. So I kind of wonder if this is like maybe a heavier moisturizer. I'm not a hundred percent sure. So don't take me at my word. I will link it below with everything else. Oh, and it actually has an expiration on the bottom. Actually, check your expirations on your skincare products because they all normally do. This one says it's going to expire in August, so I should probably check the expirations on my current stuff. It's been a hot minute. And again, like I told you I would do, I'm going to give you a quick tour of my skincare fridge. Um, I haven't, like, I took out my eye cream, so I haven't really, like, looked in here, so I don't know how bad it looks. But I did get this, I did get this off Amazon. It's the Cooley brand. I'll link it below. Um, I wanted the pink one, so I got the pink one. I really wanted the light pink one, but it was sold out because for a hot minute, all the skincare fridges were the rage. I don't know if they still are or not. I just haven't seen them in a while, but. So here is my skincare fridge, and I gotta make all these shelves cute right now. They're just kind of like, you know, blah, blah, whatever. Internet things. So I opened my skincare fridge. Oh. 
Oh, I forgot it did that. So, okay, downside, it has ice back there. So, you know, maybe you do your research before you buy this. Um, that's something I'm gonna have to clean off. So anyways, you can see like some Sephora stuff in there. I've got my, my drunk elephant eye serum in there. I have drunk elephant C from a day serum in there. Um, there's one that's etched in there that's not coming out anytime soon. I'm gonna have to thaw that. My rose water spray is in there. My belief, that's my heavy cream from belief that, or my eye cream from belief. I really like this stuff. I just don't use it very often because it's extremely heavy. Um, and then of course my gold black pearl eye mask. This is something use up fast because this does have an expiration on it. I just have to find it. It's like a two month. It's only good for two months. So here's the belief moisturizing eye balm. Put this back in here. And then over here, I forgot actually I had face masks in here. So that's exciting. I have the pure aloe and I believe the blueberry, several of those. And then I have a bunch of the wild dew essence things. And then a Primera waterberry water cream that's a moisturizer sample. I do like this brando as well. So that is that. And so I don't know, make up your mind on if you want one of these or not. Like I think it's worth it personally just because like, I don't know, in my opinion, it's worth it to have, you know, the cooler stuff, like, especially my eye creams is what I really like it and use it for is my favorite. Anyway, so I hope you guys have a great weekend. I hope you have a good Easter. I will talk to you guys next week. Um, yeah. Bye. <laughs>